Welcome to FreshMy.com. My name is Eric, and I'm going to show you how to add colors to the objects that you create. So let's create a few objects. Instead of going up to our Create menu, let's use our shelf this time. On your shelf, look for the tab that says Polygons and click on it. And now you'll see the primitive shapes that we can create. Let's create a cube. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to put this on Smooth Shade All. And I'm also going to turn on Wireframe on Shaded. I'm going to use my Move tool to move it out of the way. See, I'll create a sphere, move it out of the way, cylinder, a cone, and say a torus. I got five objects created. Now let's add colors. There's a couple of ways we can do this. The easiest way is going to be just to right click on an object. So just you can select it, or you don't have to select it either way. Just make sure your cursor is over the object. Right click on it. Go down to Assign New Material. Now I'm holding down my right mouse button. If you let go, then it gets rid of your menu. So I'm going to press and hold down the right mouse button. I'm going to move my mouse down to where it says Assign New Material. I'm going to go over and I'm going to put it over Lambert. Once my cursor is over Lambert, I'm going to let go of my right mouse button. This information opens up on the right hand side. This is called our Attributes. And this is the Attribute Editor. All right, there is a color attribute right here about in the center. And there's a gray box that says right now that the color is gray. I'm just going to left click inside that color box. It opens up this color chooser. And now we can click on these buttons up here at the top to change the color. Or we can left click and drag inside this color wheel. We can also use all of these different sliders. So let's go ahead and click on red, select like the red color. And I'm going to click on accept. And as you can see, our torus is now red. So let's make our cone green. I'm just going to right click, hold down my right mouse button on this cone, move my mouse down to assign new material. I'm going to go over, look for Lambert. I'm going to let go of my right mouse button. I'm going to look for the color attribute. And I'm going to left click inside the color. And let's change it to green. Go down and click on accept. And now our cone is green. So very easy to add colors to your objects. Let's say that you deselected and you want to go back and change their torus to blue. You, you could click on your torus and create a new color or you can just change the color it already has. To change the color, you want to open up the attributes. So if it's not open, let's say our channel box was open. Select your object, and up on your status line, the far rightmost icon is a channel box. Well, two icons over to the left is your attributes. So if you click on that, you can open and close the attributes for that object. So once your attribute editor is open for that object, you'll see some tabs up here at the top. And one of the tabs will say Lambert 2, because we created a Lambert material. If you click on that tab, there is our attributes for our Lambert. And there's our color. We can click in that inside that color box. And now we can change our color from red to blue. Click on accept. And now our torus is now blue. Let's say we wanted to add the green color to this sphere. You can right click, go down to assign existing material. And I believe that the green was our Lambert 3. So if we go down to Lambert 3, let go of our right mouse button, it adds that color to it. Now, let's add a, let's say, let's add yellow to this box, but then let's give our color a name. So I'm going to right click on the box, I'm going to hold my right, right mouse button down, I'm going to go down to add, assign new material, let's go over to blend this time, and in the attributes up here towards the top, you'll see this blend, and next to it there's a field. Right now our color is called blend1. Let's change it to yellow. I'm just going to hit the enter button and now we've named it yellow. So I'm going to go down to our color. I'm going to left click inside the gray box. Change it to yellow. Click on accept. So now if I go over here to our cylinder I can right click, go down to assign existing material and now we see our yellow color right there, our yellow material. 
So we can put our cursor over yellow, let go, and it adds the yellow to our cylinder. So again, very simple, very easy to create some colors for our objects. So we can click on our cylinder, click on our attribute editor icon over here, or you can select the cylinder and press and hold down the, letter, the control button and then press the letter A. So control A toggles the attribute editor open and close. And then once you have your attribute editor open, look for the tabs up here at the top and look for your color. There is the yellow tab right there. And there is our color yellow. So we can adjust our color, make it darker, or you can just do it all inside this color. You can click inside the color and now you can make all your adjustments over here. And once you find something you like, just click on accept and you're done. I want to show you one more thing before we conclude. I'm going to go to a four panel view. You know how to adjust these, the size of these view, uh, view panels by grabbing these dividers with your left mouse button. Well, you can also maximize any one of these views by moving your cursor inside that view and pressing the space bar. So if I move my cursor into this top view and press the space bar, it maximizes the top view. Go back into a four view, move my cursor over a side view panel, and now I can press the space bar and it maximizes that view panel. And that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching.